How do I add a user to a group with PowerShell? Well, we're going to find out what information that you need to pull from Active Directory to make that happen. This question comes from one of my PowerShell classes, so I hope you enjoy this. There are a lot of cool things you can do by automating your Active Directory tasks with PowerShell. But while I was delivering part of my PowerShell class this past week, we had a little confusion as to what information that I need to specify to the add AD group commandlet so that it can accept the user account. So let me show you what it's willing to accept. So we're going to start off things by creating five different groups. These are going to be global security groups, and you can see I'm going to create one for IT admins, M365 admins, VM creators, VM restore operators, and of course, PowerShell rock stars. Really doesn't matter what you name them. I just needed five groups for this demo. Next up, I need to create a user that I need to add to these groups. So I'm going to create a user account for myself. I'm going to have PowerShell grab the Active Directory user account that I just created. And let's take a look at some of these properties so we understand what we're looking at. There's four properties I want to highlight here. Distinguish name, object GUID, SAM account name, and security identifier. We can use any one of these values to assign membership to a group. Let's take a look. I'm going to create some variables that contain those values just to make my typing here a little bit easier. Here's where I'm going to be adding myself to the different groups. Now I'm using the members parameter and for each one of these groups, I'm going to be adding in a different attribute of my Active Directory user account. Now each one of those values uniquely identify my singular account in Active Directory. I've added pass through parameter onto each one of these commands. The normal behavior of these commandlets is to not put any objects in the pipeline so you don't get any feedback. With pass through, what you're going to see is the object of the security group I'm adding it to is going to appear in the terminal, just kind of a final confirmation that it worked. So here it is using the distinguished name, the object GUID, the SAM account name, and my security identifier. Now, truth be told, you don't need to use those special values. The add 80 group members commandlets member parameter will accept the entire Active Directory user account. For this final line, I'm doing a parenthetical command. This part of the code right here will execute first, and it's going to grab my Active Directory user account. That's going to provide the input for the members parameter, and it'll add me to the final group, PowerShell Rockstars. Here we go. And I've been added to the group. Now, just for fun, I'm going to verify that I've been added to these groups. So I'm going to run get AD group member and extract the value of the name property that is the result. Let's see. Jason Yoder's and IT admins. M365 admins, VM creators, VM restorer operators, and of course, PowerShell rock stars. Thank you for watching. Make sure you pound that subscription button, punch that notification icon, give this video a thumbs up. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>